you guys on the other side of the screen, it's here, it's here, it's here, and today I decided to do join your Hogwarts house. I already know my Hogwarts house, I just kind of want to see what I would get and with this. Um, so yeah, I'm on Pottermore, the official Harry Potter um, sorting hat quiz, or the official Harry Potter uh, website, pretty much. So let's let's get right into it. Let me have my volume up. Volume. Okay. Begin the experience. Is there sound to this? I don't think there is. Forest or river? For me, honest. For me, it would be forest. Which road would tempt you the most? A wide, sunny, grassy lane. A cobble street lined with, with ancient buildings, the t twisted leaf-stemmed path through the woods, or a narrow, dark, lantern-lit alleyway. Alley. Probably not the alley. Alley's kind of, kind of creepy. Maybe the woods. Um, I don't think I would go down a cobble street, because that'd be kind of boring. Or a wide, sunny, grassy lane. That would be boring as well. I like adventure, so this one. Which of the following would you would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, uh, ignorant, kind of, cowardly, or selfish? Selfish, honestly. Four goblets are paced, placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foamy, frothy, silvery liquid that sparkles as though it can, contains ground diamonds? No. A thick, a smooth, thick, richy purple drink that gives off the delicious smell of chocolate and plums. That sounds good. A gold, the golden, the golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eyes and it makes sunspots dance all around the room. Mm, no, it hurts my eyes, so maybe not. A mysterious black liquid that gleams like the ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Definitely not the mysterious black one. Um, I would go with this one. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose? Most a cat. It would be a cat or an owl. Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, screech owl, barn owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, nether jack toad, dragon toad, Harley Quinn toad. Tree toad toad tree toad tabby. Um I don't know. Honestly, I low key kinda wanna choose the black cat because you know witches and black cats. I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm stuck between the black cat and, and an owl. Owls are beautiful creatures, but so are cats. I'm gonna have to go with an owl. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh Snowy owl is really pretty, but so are barn owls. You know, I'm gonna go with the snowy owl. Which would, would you rather be envied? No. Intimidated? No. Trusted? Yeah. Praised? Definitely no. Liked? Yeah. Feared? No. So I'm just gonna go with trusted. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Appuration and dissipation, the materialize and dematerialize, transfiguration, maybe, that would be really cool, flying on a broomstick, I don't know, hexes and jinxes, no, I'm all about magical creatures, yes, yes, left or right, well, I'm right handed, so right, I am a Hufflepuff, <sighs> but the thing is, on my first one that I made, I am a Gryffindor. So I'm a Hufflepuff Gryffindor. Yay! <laughs> I'll show you the account later. I'll return to my profile. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is my Ivermory house. No, wand. No, Ivermory house. Ivermory house? I don't know. Begin the experiments. What do you prefer? Plot or explore? Explore. What jinx would you like to experience? The jinx mean, meant a jinx that meant nothing was funny. No. A jinx that forced you to tell the truth. No. That struck you dumb. No. 
that played music that constantly played music in your head maybe that left you that kept you constantly awake no i like sleep or make all food taste like straw no i like food so i'm gonna go with this one the music one your beliefs are hard one mm, who am who i am constantly evolving few but strong or yeah, I'm gonna go with constantly popping because I don't really have beliefs my greatest weakness is nobody's business but mine no what makes me me no that's my strength the great the source of my greatest strength something I must change um I'm gonna go with this one my magic is inborn in need of work unique or powerful unique what would you least like to lose? Reputation, health, luck, dreams, love, hope, or hope? Um, lose? Um, honestly, health. Because it's, it's good to be healthy. Think of a question you would most likely, would most like answered. Would, you would most like answered? Oh. By a person or an all-knowing being or device which of the following would which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear without a shadow of a doubt I don't know the question though never very soon it's impossible yes I'm just gonna go with yes which would be the better motto it is it is nobler to deceive than to be mistrust trustful. Friends should not demand blind faith. Uh, friends should not demand blind faith. Yep. Select. I am a horned serpent. Okay. I'll do all the reading about the houses in a minute. Um, and I'm gonna do discover my wand. Begin the experiments. To ensure that we find the perfect one for you, it is important that you answer the following questions. Honestly, first of all, how would you describe yourself? Average height, short, or tall? Well, I'm average height. And your eyes. Dark brown slash black. Brown, hazel, blue, blue-gray, blue-green, green, gray, or other. Well. My eyes are kind of hazel, kind of blue-green, so I'm just going to go with blue-green. It's mostly what they are. What was the day you were born on? It was an odd number. I was born on the 5th. Do you most pride yourself on your kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, or originality? I'm going to have to go with my imagination. Traveling alone on a deserted road. You reach a crossroad. Do you continue? Left towards the sea? Ahead towards the forest? Or right towards the castle? I would honestly go towards the forest. More adventure. More mysterious. What do you fear most? Fire? Darkness? Isolation? Small spaces? Or heights? C can you not just put spiders? spiders I, I don't mind heights or small spaces or isolation or darkness or fire I'm honestly just gonna go with darkness you don't know what's hiding in there in a chest of magical artifacts which would you choose an oriented mirror a dusty bottle no golden key maybe silver dagger mm, I don't know maybe a bounded scroll could have anything in there glittering jewel no black below nah um, uh, um, I'm gonna go with the dagger because why not I have an elder wood with a dragon heart string core 12 and a half in dang that is a long one 12 and a half inches in a slightly springy flexibility oops okay let me read about my wand so i have elderwood elderwood is a 
unyielding what yet I have discovered the idea owner is not stubborn or or in or sited, but often helpful, considered it considerate and most likable. Whereas most would one would seek similarity in characters of those that best serve. Eld Eldar is is unusually in that it seems to desire a nature that is, if not precisely opposite to its owner, then certain certainly of a markable marketable different type. When an elder wand is happily placed, it becomes magnificent loyal helpmate. Of all wand types, elder is best suited to non-verbal spell works when it comes to reputation for being suitable for only the most advanced witches and wizards. Oh, well, really? Dragon. As a rule, dragon heartstrings produce wands with the most power, in which are capable for the most flamboyant spells. Dragons want, dragon wands tend to learn more quickly than other types, while they can change alliance if won from their original master. They are always bond strongly with the current owner. The dragon wands tend to be easier to turn to dark, dark arts. Mm. Though it's most, it's not inclined that way if it's to its own accord. It also is most prone to the three core actions being somewhat temperable. Twelve and a half in length. The following notes on one length takes from the note subject by Mr. Grant Oliver, Grant Oliver. Ollivander wand maker. Most wands will range between 9 and 14 inches, but I have sold extremely short wands 8 inches and under, and very long, very long wands over 15 inches. These are especially exceptionally rare. It is in the later case the physical protection demand that the exclusive wand length. However, abnormally short wands usually select those who are character somewhat is lacking rather than because they are physical undersized. Many small witches and wizards are chosen by longer wands. Hmm. Slightly springy flexibility. The following notes are on wand flexibility and are taken from notes subject by Mr. Ollivander Wandmaker. Wand fle flexibility or rigidity is de denotes that the degree of adaptability and willingness to change the possession possessed by the wand and owner pair. Although, again, this factor ought to not be considered separate from the wand wood core length, nor if the one owner's life experience and style of magic, all of which will combine to make the one in question unique. Okay. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. I have a pretty good wand. Honestly. Hold. I have a really good wand. Okay, on to the Pat Pat Patronus. This is a really cool one. I can make sure the volume's up. So are you ready for this? You're gonna love this if you're a Harry Potter fan like I am. You will love this. I don't have headphones though. If you're wearing headphones, it'll be amazing. Trust me. Yeah. So yeah, wear your headphones when you're watching this video. Right at this part. So put in your headphones now. The, tr the Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that Dementors feeds upon. More hope is the desire, the desire to survive. <sighs> discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are time. Go with your instincts. Begin. Relax and think of your happiest memory. Okay. Let's do this. Seek, protect, serve. Protect. This is so cool. I love this. Make, improve. 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 It's like we're in a forest. Lead, save, escape. Lead. Now I'm going with my instincts. So. Whoa. Oh, 
so close. Your Patronus is something that's taking form. Mm. Together or alone? Together. It's better to be in a group. It's better to be in a group than it is alone. Black, white, gray. Gray. It's in the middle of black and white. <laughs> Don't question me. Click, drag, and release. I have a cat. Look at that baby. It's so pretty. It's her to my profile. So yes, I have my protonit, my Patronus. I'm a Hufflepuff, Horn Serpent, and my wand. Now I want to show you guys my first account. So let me log out and log back in. BRB. Okay, I'm in. This is my first Hogwarts house. My Patronus is a unicorn. I'm a Gryffindor and I'm a Horn Serpent. That never changed. And for my wand, I'm a red oak with a dragon heart string and a 12 and a half inch core. N now, the only thing that changed for my wand is the wood. So, yeah. Mm. What is this? Huh. So, yeah. Um, let, let's, let's, so, yep, well, I guess I'm gonna leave this video here, so if you liked it, just like the video, I was about to do Jacksepticeye's outro, that would not be good, um, yeah, leave a like, comment down below what Hogwarts house you're in, um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what's for you guys to comment about. Just comment about your Hogwarts house or like your Patronus or whatever. If you like Harry Potter, if you've read the day, watch the movie, stuff like that. And yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If the button is red, please click it. It will turn white, and that means you're subscribed. And yay! And hit that notification bell because I'm posting every week. Don't know the exact day yet. I'll figure out a day soon. But yeah, love you all. Bye. See you in the next video, or really, next week. <laughs> Bye.